international survey shows that the global perception of the U.S. leadership has dramatically fallen since Donald Trump took office. Should we be surprised? And what, if anything, will it mean for future U.S. policies? And in our continuing series called Ask China, we'll be turning our attention to foreign investment in China. Welcome to The Point, an opinion show coming to you from Beijing. I'm Li Xin. Has the world lost its trust and confidence in the U.S. leadership? At the end of February, an annual Gallup poll rating world leaders was released showing how much global perception of the U.S. leadership has fallen since Donald Trump took office. Since January 2017, the approval rating for the U.S. leader has dropped from 48 percent to 30 percent. The result brought to mind another poll conducted by the Pew Research Center last year, which reflected a similar trend. It comes uh, as a little of a surprise to many of us, but as President Trump is having perhaps the toughest month since taking office, is the rating likely to get even worse? The House of Representatives voted against his national emergency declaration to build the southern border wall. The summit with the DPRK leader ended prematurely. His former lawyer called him a racist, a con man and a cheat in sworn testimony. And now House Democrats have sent more than 80 letters demanding documents from people connected to him as part of an investigation of whether he and his administration have engaged in, obstructive, in obstruction of justice, corruption and abuse of power. So just how serious is this when the world loses trust in the U.S. leadership? What are the implications for the U.S. and the world? Joining me are Harvey Zoding, a, research, a senior research fellow at the Center for China and Globalization and from Ohio, the U.S., uh, Li Jian Chen, an uh, assistant uh, professor in the University of Dayton. Gentlemen, welcome to The Point. Now let me explain a little bit about this poll. The Gallup poll survey conducted since 2007 measures to what extent adults approve or disapprove of the job performance of the leadership of China, Germany, Russia and the U.S. About a thousand people in each of the 133 countries are polled. Now the Obama administration, uh, which came into power in 2009, saw a sharp increase of approval rating on the uh, green line to your left, to the left of the screen from 34 to 49 percent. The, the number was stable throughout his administration in eight years, but since Donald Trump entered the White House in 2017, approval rating dropped abruptly from 48 percent to 30 percent and remained at around 30 percent in 2018. For the disapproval rating, which is the white line, on the other hand, it soared from 28 percent at the end of Obama administration's uh, tenure to 43 percent at the beginning of President Trump's um, term. Meanwhile, the uh, Disapproval rating of the U.S. was significantly worse than those of Russia, China or Germany. And the most striking disapproval numbers come from America's uh, allies in Europe. So, Harvey, uh, it was a long introduction. Is all of this purely down to the Trump effect? Is there anything else that explains such a dramatic fall in the world's confidence in the U.S. leadership? I can't see any. I think it's uh, okay, all on President yeah. Trump's watch. And uh, it's really unfortunate that a lot of the goodwill that's been built up in uh, so many years for America has been dissipated by President Trump. And uh, I don't think that we'll ever get it back. President Trump's term in office will be limited, but when he leaves, um, America will never get back to the point that it was at a few years ago. Okay. Uh, Professor Chen, your take on the same question, please. Thank you very much for having me here today. And uh, I, first of all, for this uh, Gallup poll, I do not read it. I don't know what's the methodology they're using. So I do not have uh, the uh, direct knowledge on this poll. But given some similar polls I read previously, I can tell you one thing. And these polls uh, are, the inter are conducted internationally. It's, uh, it's in European countries. I, uh, since you mentioned that Obama Well, the Gallup poll was conducted in 133 countries around the world, Mr. Well. Chen. I know. Yeah. <clears throat> it's not just in European countries. That's true. Okay, I got it. So, 100, okay, fine. So, 
including the uh, including the European country, of course. But I will bring the issue that uh, the uh, uh, Iran nuclear deal was approved overwhelmingly in the European countries and the so-called allies of the United States. But what happened is the Obama administration gave $150 billion to the Iran regime and also gave $1.8 billion in cash by the U.S. Air Force and gave to the, uh, Obama, uh, gave to the Iran regime. So, and in return, Uni United States get nothing. So, these people approve such a, a nuclear deal and approve it overwhelmingly. And President Trump terminates such a bad deal. And I think in the United States, in, if you talk about the interests of the United States, President Trump do a better job okay, than I get your point. President Obama. President and certainly uh, people President don't know Professor all these Chen, facts. Yeah. So, yeah, Professor I, Chen, I, I get your you point. That. Okay. So, um, uh, Harvey here in the studio, what's your reaction? Basically, he's saying, uh, although the world is not uh, liking what America does, what President Trump is doing, but he's putting America's interests first, and uh, um, his America first agenda is serving the American interests. I disagree. Interest. I disagree with okay. this. Uh, okay, I got your point, Professor Chen. Harvey. Yeah, I, I disagree with Well, the then you'll, ha like you'll have your turn in a minute, sir. Um, I disagree with your point because uh, you took one uh, example, uh, but there are 133 countries here that are surveyed. And this is not the only poll. There's other polls as well that corroborate it, because I, I do agree that uh, public opinion polls uh, are representative samples, or should be. So one poll doesn't make a trend. But there are several other polls here that are consistent with the findings here. I think that uh, President Trump has done a great disservice not only to the America, but to the world. And I think it's going to take a long time to get back just part of the way to where America was. Instead of making America great again, he's making America reviled again. But uh, let me ask you this question, Harvey. It seems that at this moment, yes, he's uh, well, doing a lot of... Uh, uh, Professor Chen, just a moment. Let me ask this question to Harvey here. Uh, is it possible that President Trump is just doing the painful readjustment domestically that is necessary for the United States to be strong in the longer term? Most Americans don't support President Trump, either in general at about 45 percent or specifically on foreign policy. So I don't think it's any readjustment at all that's necessary. I believe it's one man's warped thinking that's uh, taking America down the path to ruin. Okay, Professor Chen, your turn, please. Please go ahead. First of all, First of all, President Trump is the president for the United States, not for the world, first of all. And second of all, we have many polls. I think you are cherry-picking polls. If you, cherry if you pick the polls, I can tell you the poll I read yesterday among Republican voters, self-identified Republican voters, 93% of the people approve of President, uh, President Trump's job. And also, look at President Trump's uh, State of the Union, uh, and 76% uh, of Americans, including the Democrats, the Independent, and the Republican, they approve the President uh, Trump's uh, State of Union. I don't know where the poll is coming from. You can find okay. all kinds of polls, just like before the 2016 okay, uh, Professor presidential Chen. election. You find many polls over there. Professor but Chen, none of I the get polls, your point. Most of the polls are wrong. But I tell you, I have to tell you that. I, and I, I, I get your point, Professor Chen. Okay, if you way, allow me, please. With, uh, if, you allow me the, please uh, if you allow me, please, to ask your question. If you allow me, please, to ask your question to do my job. Does it matter? for the Americans, for the American leadership, that the world's people look up to them, or does it not? If it doesn't matter, then American or the American president can just go ahead and do whatever is good only in the interest of, of the Americans. Do you believe that's, not, that's, go, that's going to be the right policy for America in the future? Professor Chen. I think your information, what do you get? Your information is rigged. The American alliance with Europeans, with, Satin, uh, with Latin American, these, uh, Latin America, these, uh, these uh, allies are stronger right now. And uh, for well, NATO, for example, they collect tens of billions of dollars more in comparison to the Obama administration. And when the President Trump condemned the uh, Venezuela uh, lead dictator, and all, almost all the countries, over 100 countries, follow President 
President Trump's leadership. Okay. They don't, don't follow President Trump's from. leadership. All right, Professor Chen. Uh, the the yeah, weakness Professor Chen. of the American... I get your point, please. Uh, let, let's leave some time for Harvey to react to what you, you have just said, that all of these countries, that the allies are paying more in the hands of the United States, that countries are uh, more than 100 countries are supporting the United States in this position towards uh, Venezuela. Harvey. Well, first of all, if you look at European ratings, the disapproval ratings are sky high when it comes to President Trump and America. So uh, America's once uh, great allies are allies no longer. There's a great resentment about President Trump breaking up the special relationship that we've had with Europe since the end of World War II. And when it comes to Latin America, I think the professor is also wrong. Yes, maybe he's right about Venezuela. It's a terrible situation, but Venezuela is only one country. But um, most South Americans and Latin Americans in general are against uh, President Trump because President Trump believes in the Monroe Doctrine of 1823, which basically says that the South America, Latin America is ours, so Europe and everybody else stay away. He doesn't look at them as sovereign powers. He looks at them as within uh, America's control. They're, they're, believe me, Latin Americans uh, and America are not friends at the All moment. All right, let me ask Professor Chen this question. Uh, is America's image in the world important for America? If you don't believe these surveys, do you have any other evidence to show that the world is really looking up? Because we have not just the Gallup poll, we ha which is a very prestigious pol pollster, and then we also have the, uh, the U.S. News Best Countries ranking, which uh, are based on uh, sur surveys collected from 20,000 respondents in 80 countries, and then we have the Pew Research Center survey, which is also conducted very widely, and these are polls, polls that are uh, quoted uh, extensively by um, media or research institutions worldwide. Do you have any, any other evidence to suggest what you have said, to, to, approve, to prove what you have said? Well, first of all, first of all, I have to tell that uh, the President Trump is the president again for the United States. Of and course, if you want to of look course, at but results, he's also he's also results. a leader that is look looked up upon. I look that at is looked up upon by okay, many countries fine. in the world, right? By many other countries, by many of its allies. So he is not just the president of one country. He is I look at the results. I look at the results. What a Trump, President Trump, President Trump take office in back in 2017, and since his uh, he 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 took off. And uh, uh, the, you talk about every aspect of American, and health care, job creation, and uh, uh, the, uh, the military, and uh, the uh, racial relationship, all kinds of things are improving. Economy is booming, and we achieved okay. like 3.1. I get your point. I have one more. I have one minute left. Professor Chen. Obama only kind of achieved this in his dream. Okay. So I just First look at all, all look at his results yeah. rather than the polls. All right. And the polls can be easily rigged. Okay, Professor Chen. Let me let me make this point. Is it? How can you tell exactly, how can you tell that all of the things that you mentioned have indeed improved under President Trump? This is one thing. And does it mean that if a president does a good job at home, he doesn't, he, he doesn't have to care about anything what other people think about it? Harvey. I think that uh, President Trump is a disaster. I well, think, I think, I think what happens is that uh, in America, 55% uh, of the American public disapprove of President Trump. Uh, it, it does matter in, the, in America, but it also matters in the world. President Trump is a disaster, and he's headed for choppy waters, and his trouble right. is just beginning. Okay, um, I'm sure we'll find a lot more substance to this th discussion if we would have uh, more time. We have to leave it there, unfortunately. Harvey Zoding, a senior fellow at the Center for China and Globalization and Ohio, from Ohio, Li Jian Chen, an assistant professor in the University of Dayton. Thank you for joining us.